So finally, uh, there's fans allowed back in the stadiums after 18 months and suddenly they're taking on Wigan today. Obviously it's the return of Charlie White to the stadium line. Will, will he get in the score sheet? Let's see what the fans think. I'm, right, I'm joined by a camera case yeah. and Morgan. Hey. So it's the return of Charlie White and Co. <laughs> <laughs> just to name a few, there's Jordan Jones who's just signed. Yeah. Max Power. Max Power. How do you think the game's going to be? Dan? It's going to be tough. Like, we haven't done that well in the transfer market. They've not done our top score from last season. I would, say, I would say they've signed three of our best players from last season, but you know, I wouldn't say Max Powell's that good. But, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. Aye. With the signings Wiggins made, I think they're going to be pushing for promotion come the end of the season. One or And Keisha, what do you think? <laughs> 3 0. Three nil. Oh well, I hope you're right and enjoy your game. So I'm joined by another Sullen supporter, Carl. So, so Carl, how do you think seeing today's game panning out for Sullen? A new captain, I think he'll do pretty well. Um, we've got Will Grigg, he fired pretty good against Hull. Uh, Jordan Jones, could he be returning? Don't know. Charlie Bikes here, uh, Max Power, I think he's on the year four. Two one easy. Uh, and you've also got your own YouTube channel, haven't you? Yeah, Black Cat Podcast. Uh, live every Monday 8 pm with Jordan Newcomer and occasionally Captain Jude. We uh, will have returning the new guests. Uh, we've got Nick Barnes coming back. We'll have Michael Bowers coming, Joel Middleton. Um, plenty more people as well uh, giveaways at the end of the season so tune in and find out about the uh, giveaways also the long word competition Jordan versus Acacia who's gonna win <laughs> is it gonna be Jordan or is it gonna be Acacia it's gonna be a fun series so what do you reckon this goal's gonna be then the end of the day 2-1 easy Will Grace gonna gonna get a goal and I think Charlie White own goal <laughs> hey cheers mate nice one right I'm back joined by Sullen fan obviously Jordan so like I've been saying earlier, uh, Wigan have signed a few Sullen players. They're not they're a good team without the Sullen players and anyway I thought how do you see today's game gone? I mean I think we might be able to touch it tonight. Um, you know I think we've got a great defender in um, the young Man City player. Just like that's so, what I mean. I think we'll win it but it's all be just what we do. Because obviously we're coming up against White. You know we he knows how to play now. Yes he's not the best but obviously he's, he knows how to head out the ball and he's out sometimes. But it's like what I've said, when it comes to White, there's no White player for the really. So Guys, I, I, I think we win, but yeah, I, I don't think we win until we win. So, what's your score? What do you reckon is going to be the score then? I think 2-0. 2-0 Sunderland. I'll, ta I'll, I'll tap that all day. So, I'm joined by Travis, Sunderland supporter. Travis, you, you know how Charlie White's come back to the stadium. We're finally back after 18 months. How are you feeling about it? Absolutely. It's been so long, do you know what I mean? Like, it does. Even, it's not the same option until you then come back to the match, I just kind of wait for the match. Like. I kind of like me, it's going to be mint. So, do you, uh, what do you think the score's going to be then? See, I, with me, I'd be happy with the draw, I'd be happy with the draw, but I feel like we skate with 1 0. 1 0. Must do it. I'll, I'll tap that all day long, mate. I've gone for 3 1 Sunday, like, uh, I just, if, he, if they didn't get the support of White, I just think it's going to be uh, hard for them to get, you know, past Doyle with the tank. He's only 17 in the size of them. But I, I'm the absolute man, 17 year old, so I'm obviously from the Manchester City Academy. Um, I just see him thriving this year, really do. All right. Great, thanks for dropping on the channel, mate. Good luck, mate. See you in a bit. So it's uh, any amounts of YouTubers, and I've probably been to Michael, the number one. 
Great, Michael Elliott. Well, not quite, it's more like number five. Like uh, no. YouTube, got more than me. Yeah. I enjoy watching your videos, mate. Likewise. Subscribe to his channel, it's Michael Bowers. He does all Sunderland content. Anyway, Michael, obviously I've been saying to a few Sunderland supporters, it's the return of Wyke and Wyke and, Power and Josh, Jones. Uh, Jones. And apparently the link with Bailey Wright, but I'm not sure if... Well, I heard a rumor apparently that that was not in the line, not in the pipeline until after this game. Aye. I don't know. Maybe that's I also good. heard that he also that he didn't want to sell field until he can get something as well at the same time. So, well, with that, Michael, how do you see today's game pan now for Sunderland? One all. <laughs> One all. I, I, know, I, I know that's probably. To be honest, anything anything for a Sunderland win really isn't acceptable for me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that convinced. I think. I've got, you know, I've got a hunch that Max Power's going to score a world today and I don't uh, like it. Now, uh, either be, Power will win the ball in midfield with a punch and tackle. It passed to Jones, Jones will whip across in and wipe the score. Uh, so, yeah, oh, yeah. we're going to stop the game, stop the crosses. <laughs> Literally stop the crosses. Stop the crosses. The, yeah. That's what it is. It's, if you get the support of Wake, I've, I've, I've got every... Uh, I'm optimistic he'd score a few goals for them. Like he did with us last season, he put the service has got to be pinpoint. Well, that's the thing. I think he scored a few goals, but I think last season was a bit of a freak in, this, in how many he got. I can't see I can't see him really getting 30 plus goals this season, but I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no white without uh, the beauty. Yeah, exactly you say it. I mean, white, white last season, to be fair, he did score some good, good, good few goals. If you look at his goal at Ipswich, it's Henry against Shrewsbury. Yeah. Um, when I say Jeremy Nipswich at Portland Road. He scored with his foot, I remember. I'm not sure, I think it was I think it might have been Max Power who put the ball in from the right hand side and he was leaning back and he sort of yeah, toe posted. Yeah, oh, was that was that what it was? Yeah. From Max Power and Charlie Watt was like, let me kind of fall on the floor, but he still uh, it into the bottom corner as it was falling. So, what do you think the score's going to be? Oh, you said one more. Yeah, I said one more, but I will say the big thing is it's good to be back in the It's club. good. But at the minute, it's good until we're like 1 0 down after 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, hopefully, hopefully, this vlog will go up if we've won and then I'm going to look like a right uh, negative Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> and CJ, how do you think? With, uh, with what's been going on recently, I know we've been linked with a uh, left back over the past couple of uh, few days. Well, we've, been we've, been linked with full, we've been linked with a full back. I don't know, Dennis Kirkham. <laughs> we need you. some full backs. You definitely. Like Dennis Kirkham, or whatever you call him. I mean, uh, if, the way I see it is, if we're going to be signing him, what's that going to uh, do with like uh, with, uh, Denver Hume? Are you going to put his transfer uh, contract uh, situation in the more, in the more limbo? But you got to remember, we need two left backs and two right backs. Guy. So I would think one way or another, if Denver Hume does sign, and this this Kirk, is it this Kirkin from Kirk and I. Tottenham. So uh, I mean, if he signs and say Denver Hume resigns contract, that's probably going to be our two left backs. Guy. The problem with that though is that Denver Hume hasn't had a pre-season. He's been out injured for the last couple of months, so he's going to take him probably at least a month and a bit, maybe two months to properly get up to speed. So, so I, I, I don't know. As the Bailey right, I can't really see us selling them because we've already no, said like, no. uh, uh, that we can't really sell uh, buy uh, sell anyone until we can get more replacements in. Exactly. Well. If you haven't subscribed to Michael, it is class content. And cheers, CJ, for coming on. Hang on, what's your prediction? Uh, my prediction 3 1 Sunderland. Right. 3 1 Sunderland. Oh, he's right. <laughs> I want to be wrong. I uh, hope you'll hear Jersey's right. Subscribe to Jersey. Top man. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Three and a mega there.
So it's finished at the stadium light, just got back in there, 2-1 to Sunderland. Um, in the first, see about 10-15 minutes, it was a very even game, I thought it was, um, from where I was sitting in anyway. And and our, our defence looked a bit shaky, couldn't, from set pieces, the ball come in and Edwards was there to put it away. A few chance, a few times in the game, Sunderland looked all at sea in the defence in anyway, and they could have easily went 2-0 up. But... The referee gave a penalty for, to uh, a foul on Ross Stewart. The player was climbing over the back of him and Ross Stewart went down and the referee gave a penalty. It's the same referee that refereed the Sutherland game when we beat Newcastle 3-1 he sent off Colicini. So if I'm going to be honest, I think the referee was favouring Sutherland quite a lot. And it's a change. It's, it is a change because we always, always, always get stung with bad referees. And I think Wigan will be... Wigan supporters would be pissed off in a way that the referee was giving literally everything to Sunderland. But listen, Sunderland grew in, into this game and in the second half we were the better team. Uh, I'm, over the 90 minutes I'd say we were the better team. The last 10 minutes in the game we were we, we were sealing the game out. He took off McGeady, he brought on um, O'Brien, then he took uh, Winchester went off injured. So Raya Gucci had to to right back and Jack Diamond come on. Um, but we were just seeing the game out. Bailey Wright come on as a because he's a defender. He was seeing the game out again, and we held on and we won two one. The Wigan Wigan brought a lot of supporters, absolutely loads of supporters, and in the win fine voice in the first half when they went one 0 up. But with Sunderland creeping into the game, the, we, we kept their fans quiet, which stopped Wigan playing and. and I seen a tweet from a Wigan supporter and he was like talking to us and I was talking backwards and forwards and he's, he's saying he's worried about Charlie White. He didn't register one shot on target in pre-season and he says he looks stuck in the mud and a lot of Sunderland supporters would try to say that to the Wigan supporters but they were having a name of it, they were just saying he's just bitter but I'm not lying, he's, he, Charlie White, who I'm talking about, he was a one-trick pony and we played to his like basically we're one dimensional and we'll play it to Charlie White. That's probably why it didn't work out for Will Grigg last season because we were always set playing around Charlie White. And if you do that, you end up being a one dimensional team and you stay struggle. If Charlie White struggles, then the teams I didn't I didn't like to say it, but he's will, will struggle. I thought Trey Wigan. And I still do think Wigan will be in the playoffs and they will be pushing for promotion because they had a solid foundations without Jordan Jones, without um, Charlie White and also without Max Power. Um, but when I looked, I noticed when Jordan Jones did come on, Wigan upped the game and they did look bright. He, he was making horizontal runs, he was making diagonal runs in the channels, he was taking on Gooch. Just Gooch had an absolute solid game for me and Luke Hornino doesn't get much credit he stopped, they were coming through through the middle and he, he made a sliding tackle and picked up the ball and we broke down the wing just to waste a bit of time with, with Diamond. But if he didn't make that tackle, they were in. I'm happy with a 2-1 win. I think Wigan supporters would have thought that a draw was fair. But I'm happy with a 2-1 win. Let's roll on to the next game, which I think is MK Dons away, which I'll be there. And the next home game is AFC Wimbledon. Let's just hope we can continue this win. I think a, sh a shining light what other teams who want, who want and think they're going to get promoted this season is that Ipswich drop points in the first game at home as well. Uh, um, Rotherham won, 
So they are top of the league. We're second currently. And long may this continue. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.